Hello class, this is Mr. Mosier. I'm gonna be walking you through our lesson plan for ninth and 10th grade PE. We're going to be talking about movement patterns and body awareness and how to hone those skills so you guys have them um, in a variety of different sports. Uh, the goal here is to get you guys moving properly and being able to move function functionally enough to be serviceable in any type of recreational sports. So in this class, in our first week, I'm just going to give you guys an overview of the entire unit. We're going to be playing volleyball and working on various skills in the sport of volleyball. So number one, we are going to work as a class to master the serve in the sport of volleyball. So what this entails, we're going to split this uh, lesson up into two week blocks. We're gonna be on volleyball for six weeks. The first two weeks, we're gonna be working on mastering the serve. So in this, uh, we will start by breaking you guys up into different groups based on ability. And based on your past experiences, whether you have um, experience in any types of sports, whether it be baseball, softball, basketball, football, um, and we can kind of use that information to see where you guys need to start. So the first group will start by just by basically throwing a volleyball up and, and catching it, and we'll be working on the concept of time and space so when to actually attack the volleyball in the air for the optimum ball flight and to get it over the net and on to the uh, other side of the court so the second part of that uh, you guys would start to serve to a a non-moving partner so this wouldn't uh, require a net. We're gonna work on, again, kind of actually attacking the serve. So you guys will be actually hitting it. We'll talk about where on the hand we wanna make contact with the ball when serving it. And the our accuracy and our direction aspect of the serve. From there, we're gonna add a net and a moving partner. That way you kind of have a dynamic target. So as you can see, class, we're kind of moving from a stationary type atmosphere to, to uh, an environment or an atmosphere that is more uh, dynamic in nature because that is the end goal to get you guys to be able to be functional enough to play in a recreational six-on-six -six volleyball game that will take place at the last week of this unit. So lastly, uh, you guys will be serving to a, a moving partner, like I said, and we'll graduate to the meat of this unit, which I'm gonna talk about the most. Um, we're, gonna talk, we're gonna talk about uh, informal, or sorry, formative assessments and how we can use teaching games for understanding uh, to help you guys improve your skills of volleyball and also help you guys, you know, kind of reflect on what you're doing during class time. So in this environment, you're past the, the initial serve portion of the lesson, you guys are going to break up into groups of three. It kind of modifies the game atmosphere of volleyball where it's a six on six. But here we're going to break it down to uh, in a little bit of a smaller uh, atmosphere. You're going to learn how to communicate with teammates on the fly, um, kind of organize yourselves on the court. And you'll learn how to just use teamwork and uh, learn how to volley, um, learn the rules of the game. And here is actually the time in the unit where I will ask you guys these either open-ended questions. We can, I'll ask you things like, you know, how did you, or um, 
I guess what what was the value in communicating with your teammates when you were in this teaching uh, teaching games for understanding atmosphere in the modified game atmosphere? Uh, what kind of things did the communication uh, make you aware of? How did it make you have better team synergy? These are all kind of exit tickets that I can use as a PE teacher. Uh, and it, it helps me gain your guys' understanding as a, as a class. So uh, I give you an informal uh, assessment or a formative assessment in the form of just speaking to you guys and asking questions. I can also assign, you know, a, a small quiz type assessment that's physical in nature too. I can ask hey, give, give me uh, an, a success rate of, you know, two out of three uh, serves to the other side of the net as you guys rotate around positions. So every person on each side of the, the net, six of you guys total um, will be able to show me a successful serve uh, two out of three trial runs. That can be used as a, as a formative assessment. And I, what I'm going to make sure about here is not all you guys are going to be great at this. We're all at different parts of our athletic careers, or maybe we haven't been super exposed to athletics or sports. Um, I know what you guys are into. I've been around you guys long enough to know, you know, what your interests are, what kind of uh, students you guys are in, in some of your other classes. So we can use some of your assets to help you guys and prepare you to be successful in, in this unit. And it doesn't, it doesn't have to be all physical. I'm going to give you guys the chance to, you know, draw me a picture of what we're trying to get at here or write me a, a just maybe a short essay of answering the questions of the, of the formative assessment. You know, what, what makes a good team? Uh, what things did you guys notice that, um, you know, that, that good teams say to, to one another for, for good team synergy? Or maybe explain what makes a successful serve. If you can, if you can get that on paper, you know, if you can speak it to me or you can write it down and get your thoughts out, um, that's what I categorize as thinking. And if you can think about it in the right way, you've shown me that, you know, you can, um, you know what's going on in this class. It doesn't, you don't just have to be a good mover. Yes, PE is physical, guys, but I want you guys to, to be successful and understand the content um, that's being asked of you. So, uh, there's no one cookie cutter way to do this. You guys are all different, but I want to give all you guys an opportunity to be successful in this class. Um, moving on, lastly, so from that middle part, uh, so we've gone from serving. You guys are going to learn to serve, learn to volley. Then you guys are going to, it's going to have a team dynamic, you know, modified games, teams of three. Um, and then we will jump into competitive games where the summative assessment will come in uh, week five and six in the unit. In the unit, um, and I'm just gonna do a good job of you know answering your guys' questions as as students and and just evaluating and monitoring your guys' progress. I will do my best to have conversations with each of you guys, uh, and we can. We can uh, talk about ways that we can better your game or better your, your body awareness or, you know, anything. It's in, in sports and all these, these team sports that, that we talk about in the ninth and 10th grade PE class, there's so much of a communication and people skills aspect of them that I want you guys to value as well. So it's not just about moving right. It's not just about... Um, you know, knowing the anatomy and how it moves. I want you guys to, you know, to be respectful of your peers and know how to speak to people in, in this type of arena. So um, 
this is this is what we're we have planned for the six week unit this is the lesson plan for um today today we're going to do the, the teaching games for understanding you guys are going to do um three on three games i'll ask informative questions as uh or um formative assessment questions as as we go maybe they could just be conversational and on the fly um i do want you guys to just explore movement and not always rely on me. I kind of want your your guys' feels and your bodies to, to answer your own questions. Uh, you know, don't forget that, that the environment and all these sports, the environment can be your, your best coach sometimes. So just going to try to mold all these things into this one unit and uh, help you guys along the way.